This spring, the LISD Board of Trustees has called for a bond election to be on the May 4th ballot. Registered voters residing within Louisville ISD boundaries will be asked to consider a total of three bond propositions that would generate additional funding to conduct maintenance, repairs, and renovations at various athletics and recreation facilities, the district's two existing aquatic centers, and the five existing high school stadiums across the district. You may be asking yourself, what led to the board's decision to call for this bond election? In the fall of 2023, voters approved the board's adopted tax rate at $1.13 through a voter approval tax rate ratification election, which will generate $37.5 million annually to help sustain competitive staff pay and maintain programs of choice. Lawmakers have taken no action to increase per-student state funding since 2019 amidst rising inflation costs, creating challenging circumstances for public school districts across the state. We're grateful to the voters for their approval to increase our funding locally. Voters also approved 84% of the proposed funds through two of the six bond propositions brought forth in the election. The approved bond funds will address maintenance and repairs and safety and security upgrades across LISD's campuses and facilities, and the updating and purchasing of technology equipment, including student and staff instructional devices. The projects included in the bond propositions were determined by the district's facilities assessment document and through community input groups, including the One Vision Task Force, Technology Device Committee, and more. In the spring of 2024, the board and district leaders reconvened the One Vision Task Force to hear feedback and input regarding the results of the fall election. The board has decided to ask voters to consider the maintenance and repair projects from the fall election during the May 4, 2024 election, in addition to field renovations for baseball and softball facilities across LISD's five high schools, three middle school competition fields, and five practice fields at each high school. The three propositions in the spring election total $101 million. The total for projects not approved in the fall election was $199.4 million. The district is not asking voters to consider the 100-yard indoor multipurpose facilities at each high school, which voters did not approve in the fall election. All of LISD's facilities were built using funds from previous bond elections, and the propositions included in the spring election would provide a dedicated funding stream for major repair projects for the 37 various athletic fields, 23 tracks, more than 60 tennis courts, two aquatic centers, and more than 50 locker rooms across the district's 25 high school and middle school campuses. Let's start with Proposition A for LISD's two existing aquatic centers. It's important to note, this proposition is for maintenance and repairs to the east side and west side aquatic centers, not for new facilities. These photos are a few examples of maintenance and repair projects included in Prop A. The photo to the far left is a photo of the pool filtration system at the Eastside Aquatic Center. Several systems at the aquatic centers are at the end of their useful life, including the pool filtration system at the Eastside Aquatic Center, or EAC. The pool must be backwashed at least once every three weeks by turning these knobs pictured here, which often break because of rust. Additionally, the aging filtration and HVAC systems cause minerals and compounds in the pools to eat away at the pool surfaces and liners, requiring surface replacements more frequently as seen in the photo of one of the pool surfaces. The starting platforms are used for LISD's swim and dive programs, and the EAC platforms are at the end of their useful life, losing the textured surface which affects traction and grip. The photo on the right is of one of the aquatic center scoreboards. The current scoreboards do not function for water polo matches. The sport was in addition to official UIL competitions in 2022, and LISD currently has girls and boys water polo teams at three high schools. To see a list of all the projects included in Prop A, visit lisdbond.com. Without funds to address the projects in Prop A, the LISD Board of Trustees would face alternative circumstances, such as no longer allowing rentals at these facilities within the community and potentially closing the facilities. These photos are a few examples of maintenance, repairs, and renovation projects included in Prop B. Prop B includes the conversion of all five high school baseball and softball fields from grass to artificial turf. 
Baseball and softball programs missed approximately 40% of scheduled practices during the 2023 season due to field flooding and conditions. Home games are often moved to the opponents' or neighboring districts' fields for games. The seven non-stadium tracks included in this bond proposal have reached the end of their useful life, which is approximately 20 years for asphalt tracks and 10 years for synthetic surfaces. Included in this bond proposal is the resurfacing for three high school tennis courts and fencing for one. These tennis courts face flooding throughout the season and have cracks, holes, and tears in the surfaces. Visit the bond website to see a list of all proposed projects included in Prop B. Without funds to address projects included in Prop B, the LISD Board of Trustees would face alternative circumstances, such as relocation of games, meets, and practices, sharing locker rooms and facilities with other teams or programs, altering competition schedules to daytime games or different days of the week to allow for daylight, and potentially closing facilities, tracks, and or facility components. And finally, these photos are a few examples of maintenance and repair projects included in Prop C for stadiums. It's important to note, this proposition is for maintenance, repairs, and renovations to LISD's five existing high school stadiums, not for new stadiums. The photo on the left was taken during a 2023 varsity football game when the scoreboard at TCHS stopped communicating with the clock. An LISD staff member stood on a lift pictured for the second half of the game with a remote control to keep the clock running. Four high school stadium scoreboards would be replaced if the bond is approved. During a 2024 soccer game, the lights failed, requiring all players and attendees to evacuate the stadium for safety until the lights powered back up. All five high schools stadium lighting would be replaced with LED lighting with instant on capability. LED lighting also typically results in a 40 to 70% decrease in energy consumption and requires less maintenance and fewer replacements. Also included in this bond proposal is the replacement of four high school stadium tracks, three of which were last replaced in 2012 and one in 2013. The average lifespan of a synthetic track is 10 years. Normal wear and aging causes the stadium's synthetic tracks to rip or tear, requiring patchwork, and too many patches over time causes unlevel areas. All projects and all three propositions can be found at LISDbond.com. Without funds to address the projects included in Prop C, the LISD Board of Trustees would face alternative circumstances, such as altering competition schedules to daytime games or different days of the week, relocating games, and potentially closing facilities and or facility components. So, if voters approved the bond proposals, what does that mean for the tax rate for LISD residents? First, it's important to remember that bond funds cannot be used for teacher salaries or other related costs. The LISD tax rate is split into two different tax rates. The INS, or Interest in Sinking, tax rate, which is used to repay bond debt, and the M&O, or Maintenance and Operations, tax rate, which is used for personnel costs. School districts are not permitted to issue bonds to pay for the day-to-day -day costs of running a school district, such as salaries or curriculum. Bond proceeds may only be used for capital projects. LISD's debt management policies have helped to pay down existing debt and made it so that all existing and expected debt will be repaid with no increase to the INS or debt service tax rate. Over the last seven years, the district has reduced the overall tax rate by 27 cents, dropping the total tax rate from $1.40 in 2017 to its current rate of $1.13. Even if the bond propositions are approved by voters, the LISD tax rate will not change. When you make your way to the polls this spring, it's important to be informed before it's time to cast your vote. On your ballot, you will see language regarding this is a property tax increase. In 2019, legislators passed a law that requires school districts to include this language on all school bonds. Anytime a school district takes on debt through bonds, the amount of property taxes required to pay off the debt does increase. However, LISD's historically conservative fiscal and debt management policies have positioned the district to take on this debt with no change to the LISD tax rate. For more information related to the bond propositions, project descriptions, voting information, and more, visit LISDbond.com.
Louisville ISD residents will vote on the propositions during early voting beginning April 22nd through April 30th and on Election Day, Saturday, May 4th.